In this lesson, you're going to learn about outlining text and the two reasons we want to outline text in Illustrator. So go ahead and create a new document, and I have something I just literally created in a couple seconds. So this is not a good example of a logo. It's a little bit busy, but it's just a couple effects that you can't do just a regular text. We have to outline it. So that's the first reason you want to outline text is because then we can add a little bit more effects to it and edit it in many different ways that we couldn't do if it was still editable text and not a shape. The second reason why we want to outline text in Illustrator is because if we send an Illustrator file or an EPS to someone to print out and they don't have the font that we have, it's going to come up with an error. They're going to try to find a substitute font. It won't work. Uh, it's better just to outline it and then it's an actual shape, it just points and paths, instead of editable text. So to get started, just select the type tool here and click and let go somewhere. I'm going to type in the same word, surf and choose some kind of font, doesn't really matter which one is for this example. Make it a little bit larger, and I just clicked and dragged the edge there. And by the way, if you don't see the edge there, uh, the little bounding box, if you go to view and then show bounding box, it'll show up. So if I don't have that, you can't resize it, right? Just make sure you go to view and then show bounding box, and then it should be fine. You can resize it on the go. And that should be the default, but just in case. So we have some text here, and I want to change a color to something different. So that's pretty easy. So let's just say I sent this file to someone and had a really unique font. I'll just pick one here, hobo, standard, medium. If they did not have the same font, it would look different. They'd have to find a substitute font. So this is why we outline it. But there's another reason as well. To outline text, all you got to do is right click somewhere over it. And on the Mac, you control click it and then go to create outlines. And now I can move it around still with the black arrow, but it does move it around as a group. I can use the white arrow, the direct selection tool, and move around individual letters. But when I go back to the black arrow, it's still gonna move it around as a group if I deselect it and select again, until we go to object and then ungroup. And now I can even use the black arrow to really move these letters individually. And so the first benefit is that we can move these around individually without having to experiment with the kerning or the tracking and whatnot. So we can move those around. Uh, we can select them and use the arrows on the keyboard or just click and drag them with the mouse either way. So that's a pretty simple benefit. You can also go to the white direct selection tool and just click the edge here and you can really customize the angle with those handles just like any shape as if this was a circle or whatever. We can really uh, move these paths as well, and we can move the points on the paths, and we can really customize it. You can also go over the width tool. You've got warp tool, twirl tool. I cover these in a separate lecture, but uh, you can really customize this text that you wouldn't be able to do if it was still edible text. Um, I'm going to deselect so nothing selected, and that way it will actually pull in. That's a little bit strong, but see, it's pulling that over, so you got to be careful. If you want to resize those really quick, I just double click on them, and we can resize the width and height of those. But I do have a separate lecture on that. It's looking kind of groovy. Um, <laughs> if you want to go to Twirl Tool, this is kind of a useful one, I think, with the example I was showing earlier. I'm going to do 100 point, kind of the default, and click OK, and then make kind of a wave, right? I'm just doing all these just to show an example. I'm going to overdo it just to show you all the cool things you can do. Uh, because now it's shapes made up of paths and points. It's not editable text. If I selected the type tool and click and drag over it, it's not going to work. I can click and, you know, I'm just creating a new text object. And of course, you can change the colors of these and so on. So, this does not look good for a logo. I'm just showing you the method, right? We want our logos to be a little bit more subtle, not as busy. But this is why we outline text. So all your type in an Illustrator file, we need to right click over if you're on a PC or control click it on a Mac. Go to create outlines and then it converts it to these shapes that make them also more editable. I'll see you in the next lesson.